What's going on guys? Sophisticated here bringing another Fizz gameplay video. Today we're back with our one month challenge. Are they doing a cheeky little invade? So we're back with our one month challenge. We are seven and five on the series right now. We're sitting at gold four, zero LP. Um, we did play a game before this one. And <clears throat> unfortunately, it was right after the PBE game we just played. And it was before I had the technician come out and our ping was sh shooting up over 250, 300. And it was just kind of a brutal game to play. So I'm not going to post that one. We ended up losing it anyways. My team my team was kind of at each other's throats the whole game too. So it was a lot of flaming in chat. So I don't, I just didn't think it would be a great content to post for you guys. But we are up against a rise in this matchup. He went flash, teleport, is running electrocute. So he's kind of going like more of a burst build. Rise tends to be a pretty tough matchup for Fizz because he has a lot of range. And he can just combo with his spells super effectively. I almost want to start my W here. I think I'm going to. Just so I can last hit under the tower if this guy hard shoves us in. And I think it'll be worth it. I want to step up for this, but I might get poked pretty hard for it. Nice. He didn't even hit us that much. He actually got auto by the uh, minion. All right. He missed that minion, so we might be able to just step up and grab these, actually. Nice. Not too bad. If we're getting decent farm into a rise lane, it's always good. Because he should be zoning us off pretty hard with his uh, EQs. So right here, I want to maybe try and bait out his Q. I want to look for an E onto him here. Trade back. At least a little bit of damage. I think that's actually pretty good for us. What is this? Wow. I can't even help him. That Graves isn't low at all. Graves is definitely a lot stronger than the uh, Evelyn early. Good thing is he's going to be taking XP from her. She just has to give that. She just has to give that wave. She's going to have to give, yeah. She just I can't go help her. I have too much, too many minions here. She has to just bail. Unless Trundle comes, that's the only way we can help. She has to just give that. Because there's no way I can help her. I just have to farm up my waves. Ooh. If Trundle came... All right, he's... Yeah. As I say, the only way we, we get that Graves is if Trundle comes, but he's kind of working his laner. We might be able to catch him, the Graves, at the blue or red buff here, though. If Trundle comes. I'm going to pot up, though, because I want to be as healthy as possible here. Um, Let's see. He's probably at red buff, right? I think I flash on this guy and just ignite him here. Let me get it. Nice. Huge. Got a red buff. That's massive. It's really good. I used my flash there too, so. Super good that he didn't just snag that kill from us. Um, we don't get any sustain, but we can grab a control ward and a sweeper. Um, she's got to be a bit careful because the Graves is going to be coming back and the Rise isn't here. We're going to double E because we have the blue buff. This guy has no mana. He has no mana here. This should be a kill if she comes over here. Because he's going to not be able to push this out. Yeah, this should be a kill if he doesn't flash. Even if he flashes, it might kill him. I'm going to walk past him so we can keep our damage going. Nice. That's huge. Give her the old well played. Because I'm sure after that kill to Graves in her own jungle, she might be a little, little tilted. Evelyn scales really well, though. And Graves is kind of a powerhouse early, so... That's where his time to shine kind of is. Honestly, Grave just scales really well right now. He's a great champ in the meta. Got this guy's TP out of him, too. I'm going to come throw my... We'll go ahead and ping that, too. I'm going to throw my control ward here. I love this control ward right here. Trundle will probably go down there. I don't see a scenario in which he lives that. I want to look to trade with this guy while I have red buff up. But I don't want to... I didn't want to get snared under the tower. Because we're definitely stronger than him at this moment. Nice. Got a really good trade on him right here. We have red buff, so we're going to actually sustain back up. The only problem would be is if Graves ganks us. Which he very well could. Since he was just top lane. But if we can get our level 6, we can probably kill this guy under the tower. 
Especially with the way he's using his mana. He doesn't really have a lot of mana. Kind of crazy that he got level 6 before us. I'm going to pressure him off of this cannon minion. See if we can kill him here. It's going to be close. Oh, that's super unlucky. I don't think Graves can catch up to us here. Even with his fleet. I think we got his flash there. Maybe not. I'm going to ping it either way, though. Um, I might be dead here. I don't think he can do anything. We'll just farm up what we can here. Might be able to bait this guy into dying here. I'm using a lot of his time here. And we're getting a lot of stuff bot lane because of it. All right, we'll back, grab a... Grab our lost chapter. We'll grab some sustain now, too, because if we had a little bit more health to play with there, we might have been able to actually do something. I'm going to ping the trundle off because this guy's missing. Graves could be coming up top. All right, Graves is right here, actually. I'm, if he looks for an invade, I'm 100% coming for this. Because he's only level 5. Yeah, we definitely go for this guy. We go for this. If he can get a slow on him, he needs to go on him, though. Get that slow. He needed to get that slow, like, a lot sooner. I think we can do the dragon here. Uh, actually, I'm just going to come mid. I have my ult up in 10. Um, I got to just farm this wave. But we're in a pretty good shape right now. The Graves is pretty strong, but we're doing pretty well. 51 to 43, so we're down a little bit of CS to this guy, but that's all he's been doing is farming. Plus, he has the TP, so he's going to be out farming us a little bit. Nature of the Beast. I want to keep this wave right here, though, so this guy has to extend super far to even farm a little. Nice, yeah. So we're just going to force him to Q farm. We want him in an extended lane, too. Don't try to give him any free poke, though. He's kind of tanky, so I don't even know if we could kill with... All right, we got him chunked out, though. That's really good. He's so tanky with this little setup. The Rod of Ages setup. I don't know if I can go in on this guy because I don't know where the Graves is. And it'd be kind of... Oh, I die here, I think. But, oh, if I didn't turn back in, I think I would have been good. Ah, that's all good. We got his Flash. And we got the... The uh, rise as well. And he's going to miss all this under the tower. So that's actually pretty good. Let's see if this guy will come down here. I don't think she goes for that. Actually, she's level 6. She should win that, right? It's actually very surprising that she's losing that. She's level 6. The guy has no flash. He has no flash. They got to go for this guy. Get the charm, maybe a Q. Nice, good ult by her. I can maybe come get this guy. I've ult in 12. If he keeps pushing, he's a goner. Ooh, do we get all this farm? Almost. Very close. Actually got a lot of it, though, though. Nice. 56 to 60, so we're actually beating this guy in farm, which is really good. Ooh, very close. I greeted out. I wanted to get all that farm and ended up missing both of those. I'm going to pressure him up again. I just want to be walking through the wave like this at him. So that way he doesn't get anything for free. I, I honestly kind of think it might just be better for me to go bot lane. Because he's got the... Like, kind of the tanky stats here. And I think it might just be better for me to come down bot for a dive with my ult. Because I don't think I'll really be able to get kills onto that guy. But these guys will be toes for sure. Look at that prediction fish, boys. The great fish by us. We can just wait. Let them push the wave in. And then we kill this guy for free. I'm just going to flash and E him. So that way I can get that kill. I need a little bit more gold. Ooh, is this a... Who's TP in here? Is that a Rise TP? No, it's an Ezreal. Wow, th their Ezreal took TP. Um, pretty solid here right now, though. 
sweep. I don't think I can do anything to this guy without my ult up, but we'll collect this huge wave here. I'm not even going to look to fight him. I just want to farm. Because I can get a reset in here. Ooh, she's got to be a bit careful. I think she's probably just dead unless she has her ult. Can ult over. Nice. That's good. We got the Herald, and she got out for free. I think I want to just shove this wave so I can get this wave full of XP. And then we'll look to get a reset. Grab our uh, our Ludens. Be extremely strong. 76 to 74. And he's got a teleport. So we're doing really good by keeping up with him in farm. Grab the Ludens. We'll grab a control ward as well to put in our spot right here. So right now, we may be able to kill him. Even with him having this, this uh, catalyst. Making him super tanky. I do have my fish. I can just ping him. I have ult and ignite, so if Evelyn comes, if I land the fish, it should just be free. I'm going to ping this guy that he's missing. Because he could look for an ult play up there. I think we just take the Drake, right? We should be looking to take Drakes. Actually, I'm going to come down to this in the double E right now just to get to the fight. Should be able to get this guy. I'm going to fish him just to... Make sure I get him. I think we get this guy. Just gonna ignite him right away. Q through him. Dodge that Zarathy. Nice. Go give Witch that kill. Nice. That's huge. We all got big kills there. I think we take the dragon here for sure. Evelyn needs to kind of come, come start helping us. All right. Nice. She dropped the Herald, so that's gonna be good plates for her. We are super strong right now. Same farm as this guy, too. I really need to come catch that wave, I guess, but I think it's probably better for me to just reset after this dragon. Get it back and buy and spin my gold here. Because we can grab this and then start working towards our Zanyas. Our team's doing pretty well as well, which is always good. Which, <laughs> it's funny, I, I say they're doing really well, right, as Twitch gets soloed, but... Which is a hyperscaler. He's going to do really well. And Evelyn is a 10-stack Dark Seal. That's crazy. Usually when Evelyn's get 10-stacked, it's just the end of the game. Especially if they turn it into a Soul Sealer. Should be two kills for her. Especially with that guy getting stunned by the Brand. Brand went down there, huh? Hopefully she doesn't die. Nice. She gets a double. I want to look for an ult onto this guy, but I don't have Ignite. So I'm not even sure... Especially with him having Rod, if I could actually kill him. I just have to look for that QW on him and then immediately hop out with the E. Because if he snares me, I'm kind of just screwed under the tower. He gets a lot of free damage on me. And since I don't know where Graves is, I have to play a little bit safe. I can't just be super reckless. Go ahead and pop a pot, too. See if we can't spot Graves anywhere. So his red buff is down. Might be able to look for this guy. He's playing topside like this, so Graves is probably right over there. Maybe not. No, nope, we kill right here. I think. Yeah, we kill this. I'm going to look to come back through the Graves here and then double E. I think he kills me. Yeah, with his ult. Yeah, and this Graves is literally all over me, man. Hard camping me. But it's all good. We are smoking this rise. Giving this guy a shutdown isn't the greatest, though. I don't, I'm not sure if she has the damage to burst him. Has been slain. Bot lane. Enemy eh, they traded. But An it's kind of weird that they're slain. losing so hard. Or even going even. I feel like they should be winning pretty pretty hard, but it's all good. I think what I'm going to do is stop looking to fight this guy. Because Graves is always there. I think it's just going to be way better for me to just roam. Look to kill these guys bot lane or even... Probably not even top. Top is just so tanky. Horn is hard to really finish off. Maybe I just need to stop looking for kills onto the rise unless the uh, the Evelyn is around me. Because this guy is definitely getting way more jungle attention than we are. Which isn't a problem. It's all good. Ooh, we can fight this here. This is going to be a pretty good fight for us. I need to kite into... She needs to kite into me. I'm just going to flash onto this guy just so we get the ignite onto him. We should kill these both of these guys. Nice. She gets them both. We kill this guy too here. Yeah, he's toast. He just got himself baited. Amazing. 
That was super good. Just a really perfect sequence of... Oh. All right, boys. There it is. The FF. Biz mid versus Rise. We'll take you to the after action after this. All right, boys. This is the after action for that game we just played against that Rise. And yeah, this was just a solid game from start to finish. Um, I think it was a little shaky early with Evelyn getting invaded level two on her side because as Fizz, like, it, it, it's super hard until you get your level three to really contest someone like a Graves, you know what I mean, who at level two with his E and his Q and just his autos and with red buff, he's like super strong, right? And Evelyn's kind of the same way. She needs her level three. She needs all three of her abilities to really be able to, you know, deal significant damage or just defend herself. So good play by the by the Graves because he can identify that both, you know, me and our, my jungler are weak early. And so we just got, I have to like let her do her own thing. Um, soak up as much farm as I can, get my level three, and then look to rotate over there. We made a great rotation, and thank goodness this freaking Trundle hooked us up with that kill because that kill allowed us to get a lot of pressure in the lane against this guy. And then, yeah, we just snowballed our lead from there, made a great rotation bot lane, um, dove them, killed both of them, and then got the dragon off of that. It was just a, it was a great, great effort by my whole team, especially with the Graves, you know, invading her early and, and – you know, kind of cheesing her out. But everyone did well. My bot lane was constantly brawling. A little bit of a brawl fest down there. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a very good game, especially into a tough matchup, into a rise. I think that this guy played it a little a little wrong. And he's uh, basic Platinum 1. He's pretty much Emerald. You know what I mean? And it, since he's 75, he may have just recently demoted from Emerald. I didn't really check him out. But, uh, but yeah, I think with the rise, you want to go phase rush. If you're... If you're really try harden and you're really wanting to win the game, I think phase rush is your best friend because especially against a fizz too, right? Like if you land your E W Q, you can just dip out, you know, just outrun me, um, throw a little bit of MR and it makes it super hard for fizz to actually secure kills whenever you have the rod of ages. And I think magic resist would have been these guys best friend because we had, you know, three heavy damage, you know, magic damage dealing champions but uh overall man can't say uh too much about this game went super well we're gonna get another one right in after this um got the record to eight and five we got 38 lp per win so if we get two more wins back to back we should promote to gold three and maybe if our mmr is high enough we might even skip straight to gold two but we'll see how it goes boys but yeah fellas if you enjoyed that video drop a like if you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button. It really does help to like grow the channel, distributes our content out to other people, and uh, helps us grow the community. And yeah, stick around for the next video. What's going on, guys? Sophisticated here, bringing you another Fizz gameplay video. Today we are back with our one month challenge, coming off a win off of that Rise game. We are now eight and five in the series, um, still gold four, sitting around 40 LP. And we are up against a Zoe this game. She took Flash and Ignite, is running the Electrocute. Inspiration secondary, all pretty standard stuff for Zoe. This Zoe actually has 1.4 million mastery points on Zoe. So that's pretty cracked. That's about it's close to what I have on Fizz on my main account. I have like 250,000 on this account, and then I have 1.6 on my main. The Zoe matchup can be pretty tough if it's into a good Zoe. And I would assume that this Zoe is good if you've got that much time on a champion. So we'll see how this goes. I took my E level one. I just think it's a safer option. She's going to look to come in with a really long Q and get these first three minions. So we will just look to E it, grab as much as we can, try not to get autoed by her. She autos us there, but she'll take up some uh, minion aggro, so that's actually pretty worth for us. Fine by me. We did miss one of the minions, but it is what it is. We'll look to E here, if we can hit her with an E. Dodge out on her damage. And still manage to get a couple of those minions as well. Oh, let's see if we can't snag that one. Nice. All right, she's probably got her her sleepy trouble bubble, so we got to be a little careful here. We don't want to get put to sleep. That's where most of her damage is going to be coming from. If I was a little faster on that, I could have just eat towards her and got a lot of damage off on her. Ooh, wow, we just barely dodged out on that. Let's see if we can snag that. Nice. All right, we're farming pretty good into her. Do you have a Kindred jungle? Should be a pretty aggressive jungle. Um, damn, my W resets are a little scuffed there. Her invading there is a little weird, though, because Zoe's definitely going to look to rotate, I think. Uh, she's just got to bail because Zoe's going to look to go fight her. I can't really help her either. 
I'm just looking to farm myself. These early levels are very important. You don't want to sack too much CS. Yeah, she's run. She's coming over there. Nice. 18 to 16. We're actually still doing pretty decent into her. Miss that. We might miss the cannon too since our W is messed up here. All right, not bad. Kind of sucks that I have to play around this sleepy trouble bubble here. Um... We'll just keep the wave right here, I think. If... Uh, I don't think, yeah, I think we just come to this come to this right here. The only bad thing is their bot lane has Pryo here. I think I just, maybe just flash onto her, ignite her, get the first blood there. We don't get the mark for Kindred, but all in all, pretty worth it. I still get a nice little first blood on her. I'm not going to leave, though. Ooh, this chick is playing quite aggressive in the wave here. I might get away from that damage. That's all good, though. I don't think she can kill here. I just pop a couple pots here. Sustain back up. Hopefully our bot lane doesn't get double killed there. It was pretty even. Ooh. Not sure what she's doing. She, That's a weird rotation by her. Maybe she was looking to get a easy kill onto my bot lane. But that's all good. That gave like me a lot of room to farm here. Oh, she just went to pick up those summoner spells, I think. Maybe she's trying to prep me for a kill. Thinking that's what it's looking like. She's trying to try and sleepy trouble me here. Oh, damn. We're going to miss both of these, unfortunately. All right. We'll just get a reset here. There's no point in me staying. And giving her an opportunity to get a free kill onto me. So we'll get the reset in here. Grab this. Unfortunately, we can't get the lost chapter. It would have been real nice if we could have. But we can get a nice little bargain buy here, actually. We'll throw that on our one. That on our two. Ping our team. Let them know. I think our top laner is going to have a little bit of a rough time into the Riven early. Especially Riven with Ignite. It's a very aggressive play style. All right, the wave is in a pretty good spot here for us. She has beaten us by a little bit of CS, but that's because we made that rotation over there onto Kiana, which is definitely worth it. We just have to be very cognizant that we don't have summoner spells. I'm going to throw my control ward up here. I like to throw it in the bottom bush, but I want this Kindred to be able to gank from this side if he can. Uh, she's rotating over there. Kindred's got to be... Okay, this Zoe not rotating... For her team is actually kind of troll. Nice. I dodge out in the trouble bubble. She's kind of just screwed here. Yeah, she's got to ignite me just to not die. She dies here. Even with her flash. Just W. Activate the W. Hit her with the auto. And then bail out. She's going to miss so much off of this, too. This is a huge way for her to be missing. Got her flash and her ignite there. Pretty massive for us. I'm going to E right here just because... Don't think Kiana's strong enough to really even do anything. Ooh, if I didn't, he, I might have been able to just kill the Kiana here. I still might be able to if she stays. Eh, I think it's a little greedy. I'm just going to let him know I have to back. This is a very greedy play by him. Oh, I just got trouble bubbled. I might be dead myself. Oh, oh, oh thank goodness. If she had her ult there, like, she definitely would have killed me. I guess this isn't terrible, though, because now, now I can at least farm up my blasting wand. But it's definitely very sketchy, me being here, because she could kill me if I play this really bad. I'll just get the cannon and dip out here, honestly. No point in me staying. Let's see if uh, Kinder wants to defend the tower here. He's got to be careful. It's like bot lane's getting into a little bit of a fight. Oh, dang. I, Damn, that kind of sucks. Um, Do they? Yeah, that's a tough, tough lane right down bot lane. The Pantheon can just basically W any one of them. And then Lucian has really good follow-up. Does she have ult? Ooh, this, is, this could be terrible. Oh, she didn't auto him. I think Kindred still dies. I think Kindred just needs to run. So I'm pretty sure he dies there too. 
Yeah, Zoe's coming down. I want to punish the Zoe and just try to make her miss as much as possible here. Kiana got a double there for herself, so that's actually going to put her right back in the game. We get a plate, though. And if they read for, like, the dragon or something... I see Riven right here. I don't think I'm too worried about her. I'm wondering what Zoe's going to do here. They have a control word here, so I'll just take that out. I don't think she can really do too much to me. I'm just trying to farm up this wave. It doesn't land. I don't know. This guy is just like, dude, you have all of your camps up. Like, just farm your own camps, bro. I really don't like when junglers do this. When they perma-invade. And it's, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's just weird. I'm coming here, bro. Like, this is such a weird invade. I think we kill. We killed this. Where's my team right here? That's a kill right here. Did my team just leave me hanging here? They did, unfortunately. Jeez, we have Kindred ult here. Yeah, I think we just run here. We got a lot there. Our bot lane is just getting decimated, though. Kind of sucks. I think, Kend like I said, Kendra just needs to chill and just kind of farm her own jungle. Um, I kind of want to get a reset in here myself because I am a little low. Actually, I might be able to kill her if she steps up crazy. Because I do have the red buff regen in me. I just don't have my ult. I'm almost positive the enemy bot lane is going to be denying that mark from Kindred. But if we could somehow get that for her, that'd be pretty big. Big chunks, man. Zoe does so much damage. Pretty sure that mark is just gone. All right, we might be able to get our Ludens off of that. No, we need like 300 more gold. I think you just get that yourself, big guy. I think we stay here. I think that's a play. Because if we can stay for Ludens and manage to back off of a and get, get our Ludens, it would be huge. Just a little sketchy. She doesn't have a lot of mana, though, so I think I'm, I think I'm safe to do this. I need, like, 100 more gold. And now that I have my ult up, if she stays and extends too far, I should be able to kill her. All right, we see the Kiana here. Pretty healthy. Looking like she might be looking for it, too. Nice. I got the exhaust out of her. Pretty huge. Now if she steps up, I can just ult her. But I'm a little worried about a Pantheon coming in. She's got to reset. If she doesn't reset, we should be able to kill. And I should be able to make her miss some good farm here. I wonder if she has flash. I'm going to flash on top of her. Oh, I auto the... I grief that so hard, boys. I auto the tower. I attack moved instead of champion attack only. Oof, man. Our bot lane is just getting beat up. Damn, man. That was so bad by me, boys. Ugh. Gross. Kindred's looking for fights permanently, but he doesn't look for the... Homegirl who's literally into zero HP, zero mana. York's going to have to help her here. I was going to say, if he doesn't, she, I'm pretty sure she just kills Kindred. Yeah, that's weird. They're just going to dive our bot lane here. I don't even know if I should come down to this. Potentially, I mean, I might be able to do something here. And get some shutdowns or something. Kindred is farming really well, but she's really not doing too much other than that. I need her to push this wave. An enemy has been slain. I want to look for the Kiana. See if she greeted. Maybe went to, like, come take her Krugs or something. Yeah. I don't even think I can kill, though. The problem. I don't have ult. Ah, if I had ult there, I could have looked for her. I'm just going to sit right here, though. The only problem is Pantheon comes. I'm screwed. 
I don't know if I can even burst her from full. Pantheon's there. We kill this chick. We kill her. We kill her. She's toast. Yeah, she's really dead now. I don't even think I want to ult her here. Actually, I'm going to just to secure the kill. Not sure if I can kill her here. Nah, not with Pantheon and them being in the area. I might be toast myself here. Yeah, I'm just going to E away from that guy. This uh, this Kindred is not, not doing so hot, man. I don't think he's really paying much attention to the game at large. I'm going to back and just grab my Tier 2 boots. I probably should have stayed here because this is a big wave, but I really want to get that tier, those Tier 2 boots. Crown is going to make it pretty hard to do anything to the uh, to the Zoe. But we might be able to do something. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not sure if I can even really look bot at all. I have a feeling Kiana's probably looking bot lane. Ooh, a little bit of a rubber bandy there, boys. Um... I'm not sure if I can even look for fights onto the Zoe because I am worried about the Kiana so much. I mean, maybe I can do something here. Nah, they got they got the vision there. I'm taking this vision out. What is this Leona doing? She's going dummy ham here. I mean, I guess I'll come, but this is it's a little weird by her forcing that so hard. I don't even think we can do anything here. I'm gonna look for a fish past him. We might be able to kill him, yeah. All right, well, at least we got that, made that happen. Is good. I don't know why. This, I'm telling you, man, this kindred is just not really paying much attention to the to the game at large. Are you kidding me? They died down there. Okay. Oh, she's dead here. Yeah, we get this. We get this. I want to look for her. Blast away. I'm not good fighting her by myself, big guy. He's drowsy, but I should be able to at least stop it. Or could be him drowsy. All right, we got the mark for Kindred. How many marks is she at? Four. So she has spiked up a little bit. But yeah, he's a little bit of a, a little bit of a loose cannon. This Kindred. All right, let's uh, keep farming because we are dropping a lot of farm doing all these crazy rotations. We did get a kill onto the Pantheon up top. Goodness, man, this chick. I should pop her crown. I don't know if I'll have it. I don't think I have enough damage to actually kill her, though. Problem. Um, I think maybe I just get a reset here. Grab my codex for this. I think it's a really even game right now. Although they have a dragon to their name, which uh, I'd really like for myself. At this point, we got the Ludens. We're just going to be double E into the, to the ways. We do have a very strong York. This guy's scaling up nicely. I think we can kill her. She has no... Um, let's see. I want to look for this for sure. Oh, if I didn't miss that ult. Got to make sure to not get ulted by the Kiana. Kind of sucks. This guy... I'm not sure what our Kindred's doing at all. That was a good chunk by her. Hopefully that little dive they're doing pays off. I think we need to look for this. Nice, I dodged the bubble. It's good. He's still going to do massive damage there. Um, Do they have fruit? We need to be taking this dragon. Because Kiana's taking the Herald. I really don't want to be tanking it, though. I think we can come kill her. We can come kill her if uh, the team just pays attention here. I don't even think I want to go for her, to be honest. I mean, maybe, yeah, we can come for this fight. I want to make sure I get the cannon, though. I am low, so I'm going to have to play this fight kind of kind of carefully. I want to look for the people who are low over here. Nice. Get the kill onto the... Ooh. Just a random fish. It hits, though, boys. It hits. Hit her with the ignite. 
W -er? Let's go. That was insane. Q through the Gromp and then just no scoper. And then he gets the mark right there too. And we're going to get mid lane. Wow, boys. Chef's kiss right there. All right. We'll back. I think we'll just... Man, you could even make a play, an argument that I should go a soul stealer here. But I think the Seeker is going to be really good. They have four AD, so... That little sequence of events may have won us the game right there. Because I'm 7-1. and one. This Yorick is super strong. Our Kindred is scaling up really nicely. What is she at here? Five marks. Eh, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Our bot lane's getting back into the game. This is a weird, this is a weird first item rush by the Leona. The Anathema's Chains. Um, this is a weird fight here, too. Because so we don't have Yorick. He's, like, taking the tower. Shut down by them. I think I just stay here and push this tower. Our whole team's kind of going to die there, even the Ally York potentially. Yeah, York dies there too. Shut down. That was a massive... We made a great play as a team, and then they also just made a really good play as a team. And I might be able to... I don't think I can get this tower, but I can definitely chunk it super hard. Yeah, I definitely don't get the tower, but I do a lot of damage to it. Your turret has been destroyed. And I can come up here and soak this wave. Make sure that the enemy miss most of this giant wave that's stacking up here. Uh, or Riven just comes and gets it. Perfect timing. They won't catch me. Yeah, if our team didn't kind of get caught there, that would have been a really great sequence of events for us, but we kind of swung the gold right back to them there. But they should get whoever that is down there. Evolution. Nice. We'll grab this scuttle for ourselves here. I still think we're in a great spot to win the game. After I get my Zhonyas, I'm going to be very, very strong myself. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh, I can't. I got to dodge the bubble. Oh, or I just die here. If I get hit by that, I die. Oh, my goodness, boys. He's going past me, right? just gonna try and stay away from him oh man I almost got away from that we might win this though they have nothing they shouldn't have anything I definitely griefed that up a little I did not expect the uh the pantheon to be there 100% my fault but Kendrick just got a mark off of that I think yeah seven marks nice that's her next like milestone so we take those I'm wondering we're only like 50 gold off of this we may even have it by the time we respawn Tell my team we need to fight for the Drakes. I think if we get the Infernal Dragons, it's going to be pretty huge. Because the Infernal Soul is just... It's literally free damage. So you definitely want to make sure that you uh, can get that if possible. This crown... Oh, man, saves her. If she didn't have that crown, just our basic combo would have... Ooh, wow. Look at the York. He goes Sherelda's? Yeah, he's got permanent slows. I think he kills her for sure there. Maybe not. Yeah, he does. Okay. York is quite spiked up. I'm going to come grab this red buff. I'm pretty damn strong myself, too. And I think it will do really well on me. I am going to ping these guys that these guys are missing. The, uh, the Zoe is potentially doing Zoe teams. Looking for... No, they're looking top onto the York. I don't think he survives that. Yeah, not, against, not against three people. But he's drawing a lot of pressure. And I don't think, like, him dying there is going to weaken him. You know what I mean? It's not like he's going to be less of a champion for that. And we're going to get a bot lane tier 2 because of it. I think we just go rush the dragon straight up. I think we just rush it. This guy wants his mark. I'm just going to try and chunk it down for him. Need to come grab this, though. So. Yeah, we just rush it. There's no reason we don't just rush this. I want to come grab this. I think we just fight. Just gonna ignite one of them right away and just kind of kite back out here. I, nice. I eat her ability really well. I gotta just flash away from her. I'm gonna look for the Kiana. Nice. I got the Kiana. Huge. 
huge, huge, huge boys. We should get the dragon off of that, too. All right. We played that fight pretty damn well, if I do say so myself. Very in and out. I don't know if we can do that. I mean, I have a red buff. I am going to sustain back up. But I don't know if we, if we have the consistent damage for it. Just E right here. I don't want to tank it. All right. York has his maiden. This should be free. And Pantheon used his ult as well. I'm just going to have to give them everything I can, and then I got to just dip out here. I'm a little too low. I can maybe sweep it. All right. We'll get a reset in here, boys. We're looking pretty damn good. Um, Instead of item locking myself into a, Zon a Lich Bane, I think I'm just going to go Death Cap. This is something you could definitely do. Um, we're super far ahead. And I don't really have item slots to build all three components of the Lich Bane. So I think it's just going to be better overall if I go ahead and just go of Rabadons. Well, our team, I'm not sure why they didn't just reset and buy. Yeah. <laughs> and now I think they'll die there too. It's going to kind of screw our pressure for our Baron. Shut down. Definitely a uh, weird play by them. It's going to make it hard for us to actually do much with our Baron, unfortunately. Because we can't keep pushing. I mean, Kindred, yes, I agree. Yeah, we can't we can't keep pushing. They would have collapsed on us and killed us. For sure. I don't know why he's pinging. We have... Uh, I guess he wants the red buff, maybe. I don't know if I have fast enough damage to kill it before they come here. And I definitely don't think it's worth dying for a red buff. Throwing our Baron. See if we can catch them out here. I don't think, I don't think we do that. I don't think we pressure that bot lane. I feel like we need someone pressuring here and someone pressuring here. She just used her abilities. I might be able to look for a fish on her. Nice. She used her all on the Zanya, so I don't get just immediately eradicated. Oh, snap. I'm dead here, for sure. No way I survived this, right? Unless I Q out through that minion and survive at 1 HP. Do I reset here, though, is the question. I think I do. I think I reset, because I don't want to die. I can buy the Soul Stealer here. York should get this. There's no way this support Pantheon can do anything four levels down. I think he just yeah, he kills that, gets the inhib. Kindred gets an inhib here, and then I'm going to run top. This is a pretty damn good, like, macro game for us. We're doing really well here. Um, they might die there, but two inhibitors, that's super worth. I want to take their blue buff, too. So I want to starve them of any resources, right? Since they're having to deal with super minions, I don't think they can really handle. Uh, come on, bro. Let me have it. You troll, man. Just give me the gold, man. Someone else here? Oh, actually, we're, yeah, this should be free. Let's see if I can bait out her abilities. I was hoping I could bait out her, her like alt or something, or even a flash potentially. All right, we should be able to push this. Cause they're having to answer a lot. I don't know though. They have three people here. A little sketchy. Maybe oh, that's this should be good actually. Yeah, that guy's dead. My all. This ribbon might be dead here too. If I can land the Q onto her, she has no stun. Eh, we don't want to walk right into that though. We need to push the tower, push the wave rather. All right, with Yorick's ult up, we should just be able to get this. I want to walk around them like this and pressure them in. Right. I don't want them to be able to. Like, all focus where they need to be. Here, we just use the wave. We just use these minions and in the game. All right, boys. Not bad. Little back-to-back -back wins here. Q, W through her. Might be able to kill the Zoe, too. W her. Looking for the Q. Into the E. Let's go. All right, boys. There it is. Fizz mid versus the 1.4 million mastery Zoe. Take it to the after action after this.
All right, fellas, this is the after action for the game we just played against that Zoe mid. And yeah, this game was super solid. I Right from the very start, like I feel like our lane phase was very good into the Zoe. We farmed out very strong. Um, basically, our whole game snowballed. Man, I hate when the OP.GG does that little black flash thing. JJK reference there for my uh, anime enjoyers. Yeah, so I think our whole game kind of snowballed when we caught this Kiana going for the Kindred Mark early. And she had like zero HP and I just flashed ignited w through her qw through her got the first blood was able to come back in the lane like with a, a pretty nice power like power spike and yeah it just felt like we were doing all the right things this game even with this guy kind of being a freaking loose cannon just a little bit of wild card perma invading um but yeah shout out to our team our team did really well also the the york with the insane pressure um, a lot of damage dealt as well and then this kindred even though he was a kind of a cuckoo you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, just, you know, one speed, and that's, you know, full speed ahead, dealt 25,000 damage, so, you know, he did, he definitely did his thing, um, I want to give a big shout out to my bot lane for not tilting off the face of the earth, because they definitely could have, like, the Pantheon, support Pantheon dealt 19,000 damage, more than me, you know what I mean, that's kind of insane, it tells you a lot about the champ, and he had Mobies, and a defensive item, so with just basically two items, he's able to do that. So Pantheon's kind of a crack champion, giving, giving me problems even when I'm not going up against him. But yeah, big shout out to my bot lane for not you know tilting off the face of the earth because they did have a very rough lane phase. But uh, yeah, I feel like we played really well into the Zoe, um, especially with her going the crown build. And I feel like that's pretty standard. I think if they are a lot more aggressive, they go the Ludens or even uh, Everfrost I've seen sometimes, but I think this is the standard, especially going into an Assassin. Like, it's the right play to make. There was a lot of times we would have just one-shot her had she not had Crown. So, but yeah, all in all, I think, you know, I think we played really well. I think our team played really well. Um, we are now sitting at an overall 9-5, and five, not too shabby. That game gave us 40 LP, so we are getting some big LP gains. So if we win the next game, we'll definitely be gold three um, with a little bit of extra LP. Potentially, if we win the next game, we'll be 10 and five. So our MMR might be high enough to where they just jump us right into gold two. But uh, yeah, yeah, fellas, if you enjoyed that video, drop a like. If you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button. It really does help to like push our content out to other people, help us to get discovered. And uh, yeah, stick around for the next video.